Here's how you can make this shutter slide video effect for your next edit. I've got a series of clips lined up on the timeline and I want to make the middle ones all the same frame length. For this 24 frame per second sequence, I've found that eight frames works well. So I can just use the up and down arrow keys to jump between cuts. And when I'm at the cut, I can just use my arrow key to go over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight frames. And then I can just use the W key on the keyboard to delete to the end of the clip. That's the ripple trim tool. So I can repeat this with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, W. If I don't want just the first 10 frames, I can just scrub over to when I want. I can press Q to trim to the left, and then I can go over eight frames and then press W. So this is pretty easy to repeat until we reach the last clip. So for our series of clips, we're gonna wanna arrange them in a staircase method. So I'm gonna double click on the sequence to just make it full screen, it'll be easier to work with. And I'm gonna continue to use my up and down arrow keys to navigate through cuts. And I just wanna overlap the second clip three frames on top of the first clip. So at the cut, I'll go one, two, three frames back and I'll overlap that. And then I just wanna allow two seconds of breathing room for the clip to live and then I want to bring in my next clip. So at the cut, we're gonna allow two seconds, bring in the next clip. Remember the up and down arrow key only works for tracks that are targeted, so you can target them to make sure you can work with them. And also we have snap in timeline set, so things are snapping to the timeline. So once I've done all the clips, I should get this ascending staircase, and don't worry, we'll nest it after so it's more manageable. But now you can click the tilde key on the keyboard or double click back on the sequence to minimize it, and we can begin working. So I'm really only gonna have to build this effect once and we're just gonna keep copy and pasting it. But I'm gonna grab the transform effect and drag it onto this first stair step. And in the effect controls panel, I'm gonna increase the shutter angle to something like one to 200. And then I'm going to add some keyframes on the position. So I'll add a keyframe at the start and I want this to start off the screen. So if you want it to come in from the top, you can move the Y axis down or, you know, if you wanted to come in from the bottom or left or right, you can do any of that. But in this case, I'll just bring them all in from the top. So I'll have it start off the screen. And then at the three frame mark, when the other clip starts, I'll just press this reset parameter button to bring it back to normal. And as a little detail, I can highlight the keyframes and the first one I can make ease out and the second one I can make ease in just for a little velocity. So if we play that back, we get this shutter slide in. Now I can actually just highlight this effect to press Command C to copy it. And I can actually just paste it on all of my other clips, including the last clip. You do wanna make sure these clips are all similar size. If they're not, you may wanna do that, those ones by hand again, but that just pastes the effect on the rest of the clips. If you want, you can go into any of them and adjust the keyframes. Like you can mix up and down slides. And if you wanna make this more manageable, you can just right click all of the middle segments if you want and nest them into their own nested sequence. And then you can have a more manageable timeline. You can always double click into that nested sequence if you wanna edit it. I also added some music and a shutter sound effect that synced up to each shutter. And that's how I got this cool final effect here. Send this to your editor friends and follow for more tips.